Good evening, everybody. This is LBTV989 Spectrum, and this is the Lady Lynx versus Park University Pirates, and this is Corinthian Neighbors. All right, we got a great matchup today. We have two great teams facing off today, and we have the men's game following immediately, well, not immediately, but immediately after the women's game has ended. All right, so uh, we're going to just get right into it. We're going to, actually, we're going to, come back after the national anthem is being said and that will be shortly thank you Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Lynx Arena for tonight's game between the Park University Pirates and your Lady Lynx of Linden Belleville. Lindenwood University of the American Midwest Conference and the NAIA are committed to promoting character-driven intercollegiate athletics. The NAIA champions of character program empowers student athletes, coaches, officials, and fans to demonstrate at all times what character truly means in a competitive arena. Please refrain from using profanity as you support your team. The NAIA encourages respect between opponents and sportsmanship in all contexts. Thank you for your support and enjoy the game. And at this time, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise and remove your caps for the playing of our national anthem. Let's meet tonight's starting lineups. First, beginning with the visiting Pirates of Park University. Starting at guard, a 5'7 junior from Evanston, Illinois. Number three, Brianna Miller. Starting at guard, a 5'8 senior from Gary, Indiana. Number 10, Kennedy Mikendo. Starting at guard, a 5'6 junior from Asperia, California. Number 12, Katia Wadu. Starting at guard, a 5'9 junior from Kansas City, Missouri. Number 20, Kiana Smith. And starting at forward, a 5'11 senior from Kirksville, Missouri. Number 24, Sarah Lamp. 
The Pirates are coached by Norman Kenneth Cooper, Jr. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the starting lineup for your Lady Lynx of Linda Belleville. Starting at guard by 5'6", freshman from St. Louis, Missouri, number three, Teresa Allgaier. Starting at guard by 5'7", senior from Jackson, Missouri, number 15, Brianna Mueller. Starting at guard by 5'7", senior from St. Louis, Missouri, number 21, Sydney Kramer. Starting at forward, about 5'11", junior from Pacific, Missouri, number 22, Kendra Morgan. And starting at center, a 6'1", senior from St. Charles, Missouri, number 30, Zaria Valley. The late links are coached by Jeff Reese. All right, that was the lineups for both teams. And we're going to get started here in just a minute. So the, the Park University Pirates are coming into this game with a, I wouldn't say a, a great record, but they uh, they have a, they're, they're a positive team right now. They're 3-2, three, three and two, but they are 0-2 for the conference in the AMC. And the Lynx are coming to this game as well, 3-2, and two, but they are 1-1 one one in the conference. So this is, uh, I'm pretty sure this is an interconference duel. Or, yeah, this interconference uh, duel. They're going to have a great game today. They're going to score off and try to get another dub in each of their brackets. Somebody's leaving here with either a 0 1 or a 1 or 2 1. All right, tip off. Let's get it. Tip off the area. Nice crossover. Great scrim number 24. She is driving the ball out, and that's a three, and it is off. Got 22, Kendra Brooks in the lane. Oops. Number 21 with the three, and it is in. That's nice. That's nice. Great play. Great play. This is really fast pace intensity right from the jump. Nice screens. In the paint, fade off. Did not make the mark. Ooh, fight for the ball, jump ball. So they had their senior. Oh, not no jump ball. Or no jump ball, my bad. Kendrick with the inbound pass. And Brianna Miller, or Muller, I'm sorry, walking down the court. She is the scoring machine for the Lady Lynx. And their starting point guard. Some great defense at the rim just there. Uh, and the Pirates are not looking too good. They can't seem to get a basket. It's already been almost ten, two minutes. It's not good in basketball. The fresh number three is trying to create some space. Another three, that misses everything. 12 is down the court. Azaria, looking for a great game. Her, de her defense is impeccable. Great screen. It, it, nothing, just nothing. Just They can't seem to find a net today. Drive to the, ooh, nice inbound pass. Oh, fighting for the ball. Jump ball violation, maybe? Nope. All right, so we don't do jump balls, apparently. All right. <laughs> All right, we are now two minutes in. Score is three to zero. You guys can see that if you guys are watching. Park has to get some offense going before they uh, get in a slump. They're pretty cold right now. Nice pick and roll. Ooh. Ah, they just can't. Offensive re Oh, out. Mm. The Lady Lynx last game was uh, Central Baptist College, and they walked away with a W. And it was a strong W. It was 80 to 66. So they are feeling good coming into this game. Was ooh, and that goes right out of bounds. But yeah, they're they're feeling good coming to this game. It was a blowout win, 14 points. That's a lot of points in basketball. And they want to keep this train going. 
to have walked down the court. I mean, this is great defense. Oh, that's one way to get some offense going. It's going straight to the hoop. No intention of scoring, of course, but had to get that foul to get some points on the board. And it is, ooh, ooh, ah, yeah, ooh. So quiet in here, nobody said nothing. Are these gonna be first points on the board? We will see. Get your hip squared up. There we go, first points on the board. Got a freshman number three, Miller, handling the ball. Number 21. Oh, got it. Out of bounds on Kendra. This is this is fast paced but low scoring game so far. It's not a lot of offense going on. One shot was made and then everything else is pretty much misses. Nice push off. Nice push off. That, that tied up the game right there. Rihanna coming down with the court. She's going to do some, some flashy because she is a scoring machine, like I said before. She cannot be stopped. Oh, double team. Miss Zarya with that. Oh, right in the hole. Point guard skills to the max. That was just fantastic. Brianna with great defense. Misses, like I said, misses everything. I think maybe Casper was there to catch the ball. I don't know. Ray Spears today. Zarya with the ball. Kendra. What a strong move. It just, it just, it just missed. It. it just missed. It's, it's all right, though. Oh, fast break. That's two because foot on the line. Time out. All right, it's 5-5. Five, five. Hey, it's Half the quarter is over so far, and they just low offense. Maybe they can get some offense going. Mm. Uh, this this team, the Lady Lynx, didn't have a great year last year. They they were 15 and 16, 15 for nine in the conference though, which is always a good thing because the conference games are what are really counts. They're not at four at home, so you know they're they're really strong during home games. They don't have many of them, but they're really strong at home games. Away, six and nine. Neutral, they're zero and three. So, you know, this is the best possible chance to get a win because we like winning here. Park last year was 11 and 17. And they were 10 and 14 for conference. So, hey, on paper, the Lynx should have this in the bag or it should be actually a good battle today. Ooh, nice. Wide open in the lane, too high. The coach is frustrated. Yeah, they have, they have, they can't do nothing but double Brianna because they they can't stop her. She's the leading scorer for the Lady Lynx in school history. She's averaging twenty points, four rebounds, and. I don't know how many assists. It's just so so many. So sh great defensive move. Should took a charge there, but not risk the charging foul or, or the blocking foul. My bad. Great screen, great screen, great screen. She's open. That's three. It's open, but nope. Inside. Nice vision. That's nice court vision for Kendra after a, getting a turnover earlier. Way to redeem yourself. Nice cuts. Great defense from Kendra. She turned around there. That's not the best possible way to do that, but hey, it worked. She is in the hole. No call at all. Nice steal. Number 21. Oh, fast break. And that's in. It's 9 to 7 right now. Yes, sir. 
Great defense. Brianna is a two-way player. She says she can defend, score, pass. She's the ultimate point guard for this Lady Lynx right now. Nice box out from Brianna Muller. He'll get to facilitate. Ah, ah, here he is. Ooh, almost an and one. If you guys are not familiar with her game, she is really good with getting fouls called on her. It's, it's been games where she has 11 free throw attempts and made 10 of them. Like, this is the name of the game for her. Easy. Whew, yeah, nice. Ooh, missed the rebound completely. Jumped the gun a little bit for number 12. We got Ashley Meekin in Garden, number 24. Oh. Great defense, pivoting, but not doing too much. Ooh, screen, Ooh, inside. Oh, Euro step, but it's just nothing. That's out of bounds. That's out of bounds. Nothing. We've got about three minutes left in this quarter. The Lynx are up by three. Good screen, good screen, pass it in. Back right there, up. Textbook. That is textbook right there. And just look at the coach. He, he hasn't sat down yet. Ooh! Almost. Nice. Rounds going down the court. Oh, she want to ISO? Nope, none of that. Watch your feet. Almost got out of bounds there. Is she calling for a, for a screen? Nope, nope. Fake screen right there. Oh! Mm. And uh, that's, that's just, that's, that's a... Uh, that was a that was a mess up on both ends. Brianna should have got down court, but she didn't. But it didn't matter because she missed the pass completely anyway, and it was still right out of bounds. Inbound pass. Brianna got the ball. She's coming down the court. Got 2:30 left in this quarter. They are up by five. Ashley Meekin got the ball. Nice. Nice fake. And that's nothing but net. Nothing but net. All right, so some offense is getting created here. The fake pass to the nice bucket. Ooh. Great decision not to go for that ball. That's senior level IQ right there. We see another, we see another, uh, ooh, ooh, another screen, another screen. I see it. Nice cuts. Nice open hole right there. Look for a better shot. Cut in, out, shoot. Nope, a better even. Sh Woo! Great effort from, from number twelve, trying to get that loose ball. Number 11 for the Pirates. Oh, a lob pass and eight right in. Hook shot. Shaq Diesel style. Here goes the screen once again. Fake screen. Right there. Open up the lane. And one, but it's no, it was no foul. No foul. But she, she got in there. Got a minute left in this quarter. Let's see what they'll do. The Pirates are down by Seven points. Ah, they just, they're, they're just lazy right now. The, the Pirates look lazy. The energy is gone. They can't stop anything. They can't score any buckets. It's just, it's just look all terrible right now. It's looking very terrible. But hopefully after this quarter, they might uh, get some confidence from the coach and they might come back stronger second quarter. A lot of intensity. Scary pass, bro. Ooh, off the 
Oh, that was that was a that was flashy, flashy acrobatic move right there. Did not get the bucket though. Right there. The Pirates cannot seem to create a shot because the de defense is all over them. Another hook shot. That is a bad shot to take. That's the end of the quarter. The Lady Lynx are at 16. Pirates, 9. Going to start a sec the second quarter right now. Oh, oh, they got put three seconds back on the clock. See if we get one. Oh, point three. Okay. I mean, unless you throw a, a inbound live pass and somehow. Yep. The last time Lady Lynx and the Pirates uh, met up was back in January 31st of this year. The score was 68 to 57 in favor of the Lynx, the Lady Lynx. Brianna was the lead scorer. She had 32 points, seven rebounds, and two assists. Sydney had eight, seven, and one. And Zaria had six points, six rebounds, and a couple blocks there. So, you know, and before then was December 13th, coincidentally a year ago today. Was also the same result, another dub, 81 to 64. So, you know, on paper, the Lynn Leafs are coming into this game hot. They really want to have that energy. Well, all right, we're going to go to a commercial break, and we'll be right back with the LBTV. All right, we are back with the second quarter. Blade Links are at 16, Pirates are at 9. And here we go, we're right back in action. Now let's see uh, if this quarter is better for the Pirates. They seem to look a little tired out there and couldn't get any offense going for real. So really aggressive to the basket, and that is right in, right back. That's, that's aggressive offense. Maybe that might be the move for the Pirates is to get into the paint and score some hard buckets. Great screen. Dish back out. Rihanna, Zarya with the ball. Facilitating. Ashley Meekin, number 24. Nice. Wide open. Great looking shot. And that is off, unfortunately, for the Lady Lynx. Here you go, that great defense again. Let's see if we can get those buckets again. She is right back in the paint, scoring again. So it's, they got a game plan right now. Stop shooting from the out, from out deep. Let's get in the paint and let's get these easy buckets. Here we go with the acrobatic shot, but it is off. So she will go to the line for two. Yeah, a year ago today, they won this game. And like I said before, she shot 11 free throws and made 10 of them. So she really wants to get to the, the line a lot this time, this time around. Let 
Mr. Uh, Norman Kenneth Cooper Jr. is uh, the Pirates head coach right now, and this is his 10th year being a coach. So I'm pretty sure he has a nice, but just foul. No way in one. But yeah, I'm sorry. This is uh, his 10th year being the head coach at Park University, and so I'm pretty sure he has some knowledge. He has some great chemistry with his players, and he really wants to get a dub today because uh, the last two meetings have been two L's. Inbound pass. Now let's see if we go back to the hole once again. And that is out on the park. It actually hit it out. Scores 18-13. There you go. Oh, oh, decoy screen. Oh, oh, right to the hole. Right to the, that's a nice decoy screen for Zarya. I just love how she created that 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 action. Wide open. And they were reaching for that ball like they were safeties in the NFL because that was not being co completed to anybody. That pass was going out of bounds either way. Got a sub in right now. Number 12 is coming in for Park University. The inbound pass, number 10. And Ashley is met. Oh, almost picked off. Here we go. Great defense. We got that great defense again. And Kendra plays really well. Shedding, shedding it. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh. Nothing. Nothing. I love the aggressiveness they, they were showing in the paint. She did not give up the ball. She's coming down the court. Great, great defense and stance, number 12. She knows she got a handle. Oh, that right there. Oh, shot open. Look for a better shot. Into the hole. Three of them blocked. The foul on the way up. Like I said, free throws are her game tonight. Brianna really wants to get to the line all night. They say, if you send her to the line, that's, oh, I was going to say three points, but hey. One is better than zero. That's all I got to say. Here we go. There we go. We, I see a different attitude that uh, the Pirates have coming out of uh, second quarter. They have a, a purpose now to score and create some offense. By any means necessary. Too much defense in the hole. Do not recommend it. And that is stolen from Ashley Meekin. They are wrestling for it. That is a turnover. It's, it's, this got to be at least the fifth turnover the, the Pirates have just committed. Ashley Meekin's coming out, number 24. And number 21 is coming in for the Lady Lynx. We've got Kendra with the inbound pass. She has been everywhere. Great screens, great defense, even a couple, even some points on the board. Right there, nice. Out. Fantastic passes. And she is, she's just taking all the ankles today. And, oh, ooh, almost. Fast break. Nothing, nothing. To the hole. Is it a foul? That is a foul. I saw that coming before he even committed. But great, great effort, though, for number 12. I'm sorry, number 15. Zarya already met the block just too late. She saw that hole and ran right to it. Got number 10, number 12 are... Sitting back just in case they miss this and go for a fast break. Oh, and never mind. That's that's in. Seven point differential right now. Oh, nice cut in. Right back out. Kendra with the ball. I mean, number 12, her sole purpose to lock down Brianna. And that's a great block from the Pirates. They just shut her down completely. 
and did it without a foul. Like, that's hard to do because she is crazy in the lane, and that is a turnover and all oh, the frustration from the Pirates. The frustration. That's like the, the, their seventh turnover. Correct me if I'm wrong. Brianna's walking down the court once again. She's taking her time. Just scoping the area. Here goes the, the screen. They don't know. They, ah, that's a big wall. And Kendra, ah, oh, almost had it. It was there before in the first quarter. Let's see if she can get it going again. Nice screen, nice screen. Great foul. Oh, oh. It seems the ball just doesn't want to go in the net for foul players. Like I said, great effort. That's the only way they're going to get some offense going is going through the hole, get tagged, and make it. Blocking foul? Or it's charging, I'm sorry. Anyway, there was a call and there's a turnover. A little mishash there. Oh. Number three, Millers. Oh, some some intensive defense. Right here. Can't just play in point guard, or she was. Trying to cut into the hole, and that is a super block. That, that block was hum. And the hole, go up with it, nothing. Offensive rebound, and that is a foul committed against the Lady Lynx. As most of you know already, Littlewood, Belleville campus is closing down for the undergrad program. So a lot of seniors on this team are really trying to leave it all out on the court this year because this is their final year playing basketball. So it's a lot of emotion that they're playing with this entire season. And Zaria, she's a senior, number 30, and then Brianna Miller is a senior. And I'm pretty sure we've got some other seniors on this team who have also been with the program for a very long time. Number two, back to the line. Does not go. Been scoreless for the last, I think, two minutes now. Let's see if this changes. Uh, and and Kendra with the the aggressive rebound. Oh, uh, bad read, bad read, and not awareness was not up there. Right there, give it back to me. Easy two. The defense, the defense is, is really clamping down. They 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 haven't scored a bucket in, in, in a long time. Wide open, let's see if she makes it. And that is a miss. Oh, back into the hole. Air ball. Missed it. Let's see what the call here here is. Let's see if uh Yep. Doing the inbound pass. It is the late leagues ball. Got about four minutes to go in this half. Nice. Zark, not that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. That was, uh, I don't know if she is the one blocking all the shots today, but she has let it be known that she is Matumbo with the blocks. Nothing is coming her way. You would not go up on her. She has solidified that. And it knocked her to the ground. But she's all right, though. She's up and she's moving. Nice. Offensive rebound. Back up. Ain't got the foul. And the frustration on her face, if you guys can see it, she is angry. They really want a, they want a bucket. They need a point. They've been scoreless for about three minutes now, and it's really frustrating them. Coach Cooper over there can't believe it. He's... He and the assistant coach are just 
questioning calls and everything. It's, it's not good on the Pirates' side. Coach Edwards, assistant coach, this is his second year with the program. So they did score a point off that free throw attempts. Missed one, made one. A lot of movement here. Right there, defense is is straight right up with it, and that is in with the defense all in her face. She said she did not care who was in her way. LeBron James, Shaq, she did not care. She was going to score that bucket. So just like that, or the score, the points aren't on the board yet, but there we go, there we go. 25-17, just like that, it's an eight-point deficit. Nice handles, nice handles, and right, and that's great court vision right there. Her back was turned, but she knew exactly where her teammate was and tried to pass it out to, for a better shot. And guess who's back to the line, Brianna Muller. She has nine points already. And at least five of them have came from the line so far. And just like that is back to a double digit deficit between seven to seventeen. Great Ray handles, pass it out. And high arcing shot did not get the shot. Right there, wide open. Who was there? Nobody. That touches nothing but the air. Rihanna with the vicious attack to the basket. Did not get it. Coming down the court, number 12. It's still Tayden. Let's see. Oh, I see an ISO. ISO? Nope. Pass it off. Let's come here. Give it to me. The and I see a travel. We can all clearly see the travel. And the coach is not happy. Both coaches aren't happy. Let's see what she does here. If she's uh, ISOing, ISOing. Nope. Passes out like a great point guard would do. Nice bounce pass. Inbound pass in that. That went out of bounds, maybe? Was that a in lane violation, maybe? We got a minute forty left in this half. They really want to go into this 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 uh, halftime not being down by ten points or double digits, whatever you want to call it. So they really want to get something going at this right here. If they don't, they gotta play catch up, third and fourth quarter misses. They're fighting for the ball. And that is a foul. It, it's frustration. Everybody is frustrated right now. It's been multiple turnovers by the Pirates. They can't get shots off. They've been fouling nonstop. The ball's been going out of bounds. They just, they, they just in a, a slump right now. Easy bucket, easy bucket. Kendra, number 22, has five points now. Six off that, that shot. Got about one minute to go. What's going to happen here? Oh, the slowest. That was nothing but block, but the refs see it differently. The refs see it differently. They said that is a foul, so I guess we go into the line for two. And 
This is uh, their senior number 24. She's a transfer. She's been with the program for two years now, I believe. And a timeout. And we're going to take a quick break. And we'll be right back when the timeout is over. It's LBTV. All right, we are back from that timeout. Now let's see if uh, the coach made some adjustments for his last minute of the half. We got some substitution in, substitutions in, and that goes out of bounds, but they're contemplating that. No, that is a turnover for Lady Lynx. Pass too high, but it's all right. They got to make something happen here to get out of the deficit. And, ah. Oh. The refs are playing no games. They are calling every single thing tonight. Moving screens, bad passes, fouls, out of bounds, step outs, twos, threes. They're calling everything. Oh, this is, uh, this is full court pressure. They can't leave the shooters open because this team can shoot. This is full half court pressure. What's going to happen now? You got 20, got 25 seconds to make a play. Kendra with the ball, passes it or deflected. Kick ball violation, not call up, but it's all right. Fast break. It's three on three. It's right there, right there. It's all right. Juggling the ball, number 24. Number 12. Ah, and it misses. And Rihanna with the ball, she passes two, one, and nothing. All right, with that is the half. We'll be right back with LBTV Spectrum 989. It's Corinthian Neighbors. Thank you.
What's going on, guys? We are back. We got one minute until the start of the second half begins. T's for threes. If you guys heard that, they're doing a little promo right now. I'm so uh, happy they're trying to make ways to have fun tonight. So, yeah, the score is 29-19, uh, 10-point difference. Now, uh, the big thing with the Pirates are they can't create any shots. The Lynx defense has been amazing. There's, there's been a couple players on <coughs> the Pirates who's been doing really good defensive things, some great blocks here and there for the Pirates. But overall, defense is a collective group needs to pick it up if they want to fight back to this game. So we're starting with number three. Inbound pass number 12, I'm assuming. Now let's get this thing going for the final half of the female basketball game tonight. Turn around jumper. Misses. Now let's see how they do with uh, a rim change, court change. So far, we are scoreless so far. So, you know, rim change might be effective. Great screen, but did not use it efficiently. Turn around, fake it right back, hits the ground hard. Fast break. Turn back, three open? Yes? No. Zarya, oh, with the rebound, it slips out of her hands. Fast break, two on four, two on four. She's smart, she pulls it back out. Not a not great shot selection. Wide open. Great foul. No intention of making that, but a great foul. And uh, by a player who seems to have a cramp. She, she is back up. And she is walking fine. I'm glad she's all right. It could have been a lot worse. So we got two for number 21 for the Lady Lynx. First basket made. <clears throat> Great form. Second one is nailed. And we haven't mentioned this, but number 21 has 11 points. I think she's the leading scorer of the night for the Lady Lynx. So she's been doing a lot of great things for them tonight. Wide open three for number 24. And and a, a call on the Lady Lynx. And it will be two. Ain't that something? If anything, it's taken from the night is that the refs are very thorough with their calls. This is the first free throw. Second one, she drains it. Oh, missed her teammate, double team. You got a timeout. All right. Yeah, so so far, yeah, it's, it's one point has been scored for the Pirates, two for the Lynx. Yeah, we just got to – they. they both sides into getting the offensive rhythm. But I will say this, the defensive effort from Link, Lady Lynx has still been up to par from the last half. Let's talk about these basketball plays that are about to run up. Let's do that. And 
we are back. Let's get it. Let's get it. Number 21 with the inbound pass. Kendra. Nice. Right to the hole. No out. Wide open. It. And ah, misses the three. There's just a lot of talking going on the court. A lot of communication skills are kicking in. It seems to me they're running a. Ooh. Great defensive form they, they took on there. About a four in, one out. They're kind of lacking on the court. Nice. Let's see if she can reach the ball in time. But great effort. Great effort from Bri Brianna Muller. She She's just been everywhere. Great defense. Great defense. And then the chase down. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now uh, the refs are going to discuss something. Oh, oh, quick discussion. All right, it's over. All right, inbound pass. <laughs> and Lady Lynx, their bench is clapping. They, they're, they're feeling good tonight. They are feeling good to No, oh, nothing. They missed everything. Way to get the ball. Oh, bad decision. Bad decision. Right back in the hands of the Pirates. Let's see some offense. Let's, let's, let's see some offense get created here. Let's see what happens. Screen right there. Not fought. Open. Great effort by Kendra. She nearly had it blocked or nipped it. Nothing. Now it's the lead links ball. Since they are down, they are playing. They are playing some great defense. Full court press. Oh, oh, we got the hustle. The hustle, the intensity is here. They do not want to leave out of here with the L, so they're going to bring up the intensity. Let's just see what happens here. She's met with the defender. Number three, Miller. Miller has the ball. And a fast break. See what she does. She passed out to Bri Brianna. Now who wants to go to the ankle factory to replace those ankles that she's going to break? Not. Oh my goodness! If, oh, behind the back dribble, ruthless. It's ruthless. That's something that we want to see more of. Those one-on-one -on -one battles with defenders and the ball handler. Great, fantastic, and took the time with the shot. But they're gonna call that traveling because she hung in the air for a while. So no points awarded. Giving her some space to work with. Oh. Ah. Shot up, hits the side of the backboard, and two offensive opportunities and came up with none. It's been about five minutes almost, and only three points have been scored through both teams. Brianna with the foul. She's getting right back to the line just like she has been doing before. This is great strategy by the Lady Lynx and by Moeller tonight. Like I said, she shot 11 free throws last game. 
back in January, and she made 10 of them. It's just obviously a strategy, and they must avoid fouling her when she goes to the hole. So here we go, here we go. Oh, and we have a timeout. Coach Cooper has some things to discuss with his team. He is not pleased what is going on right now. I mean, one point has been scored in four minutes and 26 seconds. That is not, no, that, that's, that's frowned upon. So they're going to see if they can talk some things over, write up some plays. Maybe try to ISO a few times, work those pick and roll action screens. Anything at this point can help them because they are in a, a, a rut. Now, their defense has held up as well against the Lynx. The Pirates really have been full pressure court, and that takes a lot of energy to do. That's, that's, you got to have great conditioning to do a full court press like that for a long period of time. Full court presses are really at the end of the game. This is the third quarter with five minutes left, and they are still doing it. So obviously they're, they're getting they're getting hungry for the ball. Time out, or we gotta stop for some reason. Not sure what the call was, but we are back on. Oh, nice. Way to, way to, way to respect her defense. Pass was coming in too strong and went straight to Kendra. That's another turnover for the Pirates. Ankle Factory is in session. Give her the ball, please. We want to see Ankle Factory. The Ankle Coal Mine. Ashley Meekin with the ball, but a three in her face does not. Oh, and air balls it. Ouch. But great effort, though. Great effort. Way to take a shot. Shoot or shoot. Way to not foul. She reached for the hand there, but no contact. Coach is calling plays. Coach is calling plays. Kendra. And that is off. That is off. That that shot has not been draining at all for her. And that was a great Euro step into the lane with the slow shot. And it thought it was going in, but then it just rolled back out. That's been going on with all their shots. I don't know what's been going on. Maybe too much power. But every shot they have been getting to the rim has been rolling right out. And, uh, right, right into a screen. Zarya was there to meet her with sheer muscle. That was a miss to the hole and a foul. Now, this is what they should be doing. They should be really getting to the hole every single time because shooting the ball is not working out for them. They should really get to the hole, start getting the fouls. Let them respect the hustle and the drive and get some free points from the line. And that's just, it, it, it seemed rushed, but... Let's see if she can make the second one to get the first points on the board in the last, I say, about six minutes so far. And she misses both, and it is out, and they will get the ball back, fortunately, for the Pirates. Number 
number one is, is getting signaled. They should take their time. They have time on the clock to. Screen for number 24. A little bit of daylight. Fight for the ball. Got the ball out. Pats it back out. Number 15 has the ball. She wants to. Sorry, number. Screens is, is, is being just no look pass. Let's see if it go. And it goes down for three. It's the first points in the last drought they've had. And that was a great no look pass for three. Now it's back down to 10 points. And ah, and wide open. Let's see if she makes this one. Nope. We got some, we really got some energy flowing right now. The coach is standing up. Both of them. Let's see what happens here. Driving to the, the basket and just too much power on that layup. And, and it, it was just force. It was force. Number 21, foot on the line. That would be two, but it does not go in. If you guys are watching right now, the men's team are getting ready to disperse from the bleachers because they have a game coming up immediately. Not immediately, but after the women's game. In the hole, no foul called, and it is the Pirates' ball. Once again, this is a great strategy. They should start practicing right now. If they can do this all the way to the fourth quarter and continue that same method, they can probably inch their way back into the game. Right back into the hole. Steps back, great. Offensive rebound. Takes your time, screen, 30 is open. Could have had a quick shot there. And that is a steal, and she is on her knee. The Harlem Globetrotter, this is crazy. It, ankle factory? Will we see it? Zaria is right, she's been screening all night for Brianna, and, number, and <laughs> easy, just too easy. For Kendra, and we have a timeout being called. Kendra now has eight points. Just fantastic. I will remind everybody, or I will alert everybody, during the men's basketball game, during halftime, we will have the 2019 rugby sevens team having their ring uh, ceremony today. So we have the entire rugby team in the building tonight and we will honor them by taking first at Nationals this past spring. Park University is really going through a, a bad stretch at the moment, their last game, they had to play against Freed Hardman. They were ranked, they're ranked number one in NAIA for women's basketball, and the score was 89 to 47. So, either they can come in with their, you know, their heads down, or they can either come in here looking for revenge. Yeah, but their last game was a blowout, and maybe it's it's still on them. Maybe they can't get over that loss from the number one seed in NAIA. So we are now back. We've got about one minute and 40 seconds left on the clock in this quarter. Great inside pass, and that is a, oh, that is a travel. The refs have been calling every single thing tonight. These are some great refs. They obviously see things that we do not see. And that's why they get paid and we don't to ref. Yo, so the easiest places to coach are from the couch and the bleachers. Easiest place to coach. And, and, and the wall of Zaria is just strong. She is the tallest person on the team, and they really use her effectively. That was a block, and that is going right back to Lady Lynx.
Kendrick. Ah, and that is a foul being called. Got Zari with the ball. In inbound pass from, or not inbound, inside pass. Almost a reverse layup. Getting fancy out here. But it did not go though, so. Screen for number 24. Inside, hook shot, and that is in. That is in. Got 50 seconds left on the clock. Let's see what they're trying to do. Fast break, fast break. It's one on two, one on two. Pulls it back out. Let's see what happens here. Nice body contact, Zaria, the wall. The, wa the wall of Zaria is just, just can't be beat. If she, oh, some hands to the face action there, and that is a three from, that is a three. Synced it. And that, that's, a, that's a lot of, that's a, that's a heartbreaking three to the other team, because they tried so hard to get back in this lead, and they just hit a three in their face like that. Oh, Miller. It's 1-2. Let's see what happens here. Brianna bits the score. It is now 40 to 25 with five seconds left on the clock. Let's see what happens here. Not knowing they have two seconds, they should take a shot, and they don't. And we are going into the fourth quarter. The score 40 to 25. The Pirates have a huge deficit they have to overcome if they look to get back into this game. So now we have a two-minute break here. We're going to go on commercial. This is LBTV, Spectrum 989. Thank you. And all right, we are now back to the Lady Lynx versus the Park University Pirates today in Lynx Arena. Here we are. This is the fourth and final quarter of the game. Now let's see if uh, if we can see a late flurry from the Pirates. That is a nice block. Oh my goodness. I don't know what the call was. Oh, that was that was a, that was a call foul, hitting the wrist. These are some great refs. Like these refs should be in the NBA because they see absolutely everything. We didn't see any of that, and I'm here, and I still couldn't see it. Amazing. Number three, and then we got Brianna with the. It's a beautiful three, and they just put a nail in the coffin at this point. I know it's, it's too close to say, but if they keep with this defense, it's 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 it, impossible. Ooh, bounce pass, turnaround jumper, hits the rim, hits short. We got ah, uh, number twenty-one was wide open. She was looking for that pass. It was not intended for her or even committed. Nice. Teresa, number three, the freshman. Pass out to Kendra. Kendra, number 21. Another three. Pop. Oh, and he goes straight down once again. 
And that is a 21 point lead for the Lynx tonight. Pass out to three point line, 24. Too predictable and it was just too predictable and it was stopped immediately. Got some subs coming in, 21, 21 is going out, and we have five and number 10 coming in, or number 11, I'm sorry, coming in for the Pirates. Let's see here. Got new, just impeccable defense. They're, they're reading everything they do. Every single thing they they try to put up is getting shot down. They've scored six points last quarter since last quarter. Great defense by number ten. And Brianna, she is wide open once again, but does not get that one. She was two for two. I would love to see number 15, number 15 with the aggressiveness, but did not score. But she is going to the line with a shooting foul. Now that is something I would love to see. I would love to see number 15 have the ball in her hands a little bit more because she has fantastic ball skills and she can really, really disrupt the defense. But that's just my opinion, of course. That's not, you know, coaching from the sidelines here. So she makes both of them, and now it's a 19-point deficit. And now we have a timeout. Let's see what the coach says, says now. Hopefully, oh, they're right back out. Short, short sweep. They are ready. Oh. Each team has two timeouts left in the game. With each a foul to give. <clears throat> All right, Kendra with the inbound pass. Teresa is sprinting down the court, and number 11 is on her like a corner. With the Jalen Ramsey coverage, she didn't get anywhere. Number five. Kendra, three for that three again. Some great defense from Park, and that's a lob pass, and that is not good. Take it in, take it out, number 15, with the ball handling skills, straight to the hole, and it's, oh, and it, oh. no kickball violation. A lot, of, a lot just happened there. Three, and that's in for the Park University Pirates. This, this is full court pressure. This is full court pressure, and they are feeling the pressure. They feeling good. Is this gonna go in? No, is it gonna go in? Not at all. And she got the offensive rebound from behind her, so you have to box out those situations, and they're not doing that. And that's where they're losing on the boards. They are getting out rebounded here by the leading links because they are not boxing out. <clears throat> Coach Siegel to come forward in the hole, foul, and nearly back to the line with Brianna Muller. Her bread and butter, she's going right back to the line. And once again, they, the Pirates can't seem to stop that. The coach was signaling her to come into the hole and get that driving bucket to get that foul. They were driving her. They were, he was telling her to do that. This is the first one. 
but it's all right. She now has 20 points. Most of them come from the free throw line. And let's not forget those two huge threes she shot last quarter. Nice. That ankles. Screen. Pass. Nope. A floater. And that's an and one. Coach is like that call. He says they were standing straight up, but as we know, the refs saw it differently. Here we go. Here we go. Full court pressure. Half court trap. In and out with the ankles. Teresa. The freshman, Kendra, right there, facilitating them. And that is a foul or a cause of some sort. Yep, that is a foul. Inbound pass, number five, Ankle City. And that is a charge or a blocking foul? No, charge. That is a charge. She fell right to the circle. Great defensive play by the Pirates. Great defensive play. Way to get the ball back. We've got five minutes left on the clock, 5.49 to be exact. Right out. Beautiful shot. And that is another three. This, this deficit is, is shrinking. It's really shrinking. They're only down by 11. They keep shooting three like this. It's one on two, one on two. That's a block from the Pirates. They are up and they are ready. They, 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 they're not going. They don't want to lose this game. They are fighting back. This late quarter flurry is really getting big. It was a foul, unfortunately, but the effort is still there. They're looking really tired out there right now, the Lady Lynx. And the Pirates, they're tired too, but I think they're just more hungry right now, and they really want the ball. We will see what happens. Yep. Second free throw miss. Trying to just chip away that lead. Great cuts, great cuts. Great cuts inside the hole. Oh, and she wants to argue the call. It, she said the call was tipped. The, the ref saw it. Is this a different call reverse? And the call is getting reversed. Here we go. Oh, 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 it's, oh, no, it's not. It's not. We are wrong. The coach is right here. Coach Cooper is angry. He is furious. His 10-year coaching job is at stake. He has to sit down. He doesn't want to, oh, and the, oh, it's loose. Oh, oh, Ankle City, Kendra, right back. They're playing keep away at this point. Looking a little confused here. Three wide open. They got to stop doing that, but she, luckily it lucked out. She missed it. They got to stop leaving her wide open. And, and, and we got, and we just got to, Got to be smarter than that. Way to go to the hole with the and one. I mean, she just laid it right in with the decent finger roll. All by herself, hole wide open. They didn't close in. And if they would have closed in, she would have dished it out. But hey, great play. Great finish by the freshman Teresa, number three. Misses the free throw. The hustle is here. I see a lot of hustle, but we need some buckets for, for the hustle. Here, here come the ankle breaker. 3,000, 
One, two, three. Oh, and it missed. Air ball. Scooped up by Teresa, number three. She is having a game today. She is everywhere. She's the energizer bunny tonight. Number 20, down to, number 10 down the court. Euro step, maybe. Oh, and it is in with the and one. The Pirates are still fighting in this game with 4.02 left on the clock. And, and Coach is, <laughs> Coach Cooper is not playing any games. Just told one of his players, you got to get on defense. You got to start playing defense. And we've been preaching that all night. All night. This is what a game. This, this fourth quarter is really getting serious right now. Now, I don't have the scorecard in front of me, but I'm pretty sure that uh, the Pirates are outscoring the Lynx in this fourth quarter. Maybe too little too late. If this flirt would have came maybe second quarter or maybe the first half of third quarter, they probably would have had a shot. But with this deep, this lead they have now, they they, they they like it right now. So it's, it's still leaning towards the Lynx taking this dub home today or keeping it home today in a sense since we are in the Lynx arena tonight. All right, we are now getting back on the court. Back on the court, Coach Cooper still has his, his players. All right, he is furious. He is go team. Here we go. Now this isn't ethical, but they will they will might want to create more points here. Missing the free throw. This is late game strategy. Missing the free throw, getting it back, score to two. And that goes straight in. Got number 15 is down the court by number 24. Ready for that inbound, that, that pass. So if they let Brianna rest, she's going to, oh, she pokes the ball out. Number 12 is ready. If she stays on there and keeps constant pressure, ankle breaker 3,000, come to work, out. Nice, number 15, Roundup Miller, Muller, 24 is screening, and that is a foul, and we are getting right back to the line. Now, Coach Cooper, he knows all too well of the foul, the hack game. He just knows all too well. He's been, he's been 10 years head coach of the Pirates. So he was there back in January 31st of this year where she had 10 free throws and 11 attempts. He was there a year ago today, December 13, 2018, where they lost again by more than 15 points. He's getting furious with this team beating him, and he really wants to change it up here. But right now, as long as the ball's in her hands, that lead is safe. And acrobatic move was successful. She got the foul, going up for two. Here we go. Number 12 for, for the Pirates shooting two. And that is off. Coach, assistant coach over there is shaking his head. Sig sig the coach sig signaling number 10 to get on number three for the Lynx. And then they sub her out for We see a, a, a bullet pass right there. Nice, nice effort. It's two on one. Cut in. Nope, was not too late. Great defense being played right now. Full court. Everybody's moving. And Zarya is in the middle. She is the wall that Trump wants. Just won't go anywhere. It won't. Right there, nothing. Just, just ankles everywhere, just like like Kyrie in the hole, just just can't get to her. And that is a three, and that is good. I'm saying that's good. Kendra with the three, that's nail in the coffin. Good night. I don't care what they do. I, I don't think they can come back from this. Nice, nice score. We got 2.40 left on the clock. Let's see what happens here. 
They are playing full court defense. This is a, this is what those killers in practice mean. This is what suicides mean in practice when you got run up and down the court. This is that conditioning. And we got two subs in, one for the Lynx and one for the Pirates. I guess this is signaling of this game is over. They're going to concede. Kendra with the pass goes out of bounds. Says off the hands of the Pirates and it goes out of bounds now. The Lynx trying to recover the ball. The men's team are ready to get on the court. They are in the corner of the gym waiting for the game to end. And then that's a shot clock violation. Coach is not happy. And both coaches on the link side are still coaching. Fantastic rebound, so calm collects. And she, she, she's just taking angles today. She, she, she doesn't care who it is. And that is too much power on that pass. Goes out of bounds. So the full court pressure was good. That's what full court pressure is. It's double teaming the person with the ball, forcing them to make a bad pass. And that is a travel. They are traveling all the way back to Missouri where they came from because that was just, that's not, that's not called for. You, Of the inbound pass for number 21. Oh, wait. Uh, that was uh, scary there. She had the ball like football for a minute, but not before the foul was called. And now, late game fouling. fouling I'm sorry. Uh, Brianna Miller Muller has 23 points and she's going right back to the line for another two. Later after the game, we're going to do a look at the score sheet and see how many free throws she actually attempted and how many she actually made because she has been to the line all day today. First one is miss, no biggie. And the second one, she drains it. And that is a fantastic shot. But like I said, if they would have done that between the legs, got the ball, got it back, can we get the foul? And that is it's a foul, but no two rewarded. She makes both of these, they will cut the deficit to 10 points. And they will be somewhat in range, but kind of uh, unrealistic, if you ask me. And came down with the ball. That should be a jump ball violation. In my opinion, it was 50-50 ball. But nope. The Lynx will recover the ball, and Kendra will have the inbound pass. So we have a quick timeout here. The Lynx have one, the Pirates have two left. This fourth quarter has been a great fourth quarter. A lot of energy, a lot of things happen this quarter throughout the whole, more than the whole game. Now, what we saw here, we, we just saw the Pirates just start going into the hole more and really start using their speed and their handles to their advantage. And that resulted in them cutting the deficit. Not by much, but it did cut the deficit. So now we're, we're they're sitting in a spot where they don't want to be. And now they're, they, they might walk out of here with their second consecutive L 
as of right now. Like I said, last week they had the number one seed in Friedman University, and that didn't go well. And now they, they're going to take another L this, this time around. They got to get back into a winning attitude and get that last loss off of their, off, off of their mind. There we go. We, we have Zaria all the way in the back. And Kendra, we got Ashley Meekin, Brianna, jumps the ball, Kendra. Very fast passes and cuts. They just want to run the ball out, just run the time. That's all they want to do. They should be doubling her. That's a, there we go. Great double, great double. One person open, one person in the middle. In my opinion, it was shot in the middle. It's all right. And that's right back to the Lady Lynx. The miscommunication there. But it is all right. Nothing but smiles and laughs over there on the Lynx side of things. We got 45 seconds left. Uh, like I said, we will be right back after this game is over with the men's game against Park University as well. And that game will take place, I believe, at 7.30 we begin. And we'll have the award ceremony for the rugby team, sevens team, during halftime. So be sure don't miss that because this, this is a big honor for them winning nationals for the Linwood University of Belleville. All right. Let's see what is going on here. Both coaches are for the got some, some some discussions with the ref. And, you know, at, at this point, you know, why really argue with the ref when you're up by 12 points with 45 seconds left? I mean, I've never seen that happen before where you somebody lost in 45 seconds. But I guess it's possible. He wants every possible scenario to be in a winning favor of the Lynx. That's what I'm guessing. Jumping for glory. Fantastic screen, a Bree, and Bree's gonna run out the clock. Seems like, oh, she has 10 seconds on the, on the shot clock. Oh, and, and just keeps reaching, and here we go with the foul. By all means, no intention to score. Just want to run out the clock and take their dub and shake hands. The men's team are ready in both corners for each team. Park University in the right, a little bit in the left corner. They are ready to get on the court and start their shoot around. And, and look where we at. We are right back at the foul line. And guess who shoot the free throws? Brianna Muller. Right down the hole. And, and it's, a, it's a lot of aggressiveness from Ashley Meekin fighting for that loose ball. And, and, and you could just see the frustration and, and the spirit of the Pirates just on, on their face, they, they just they they fought with all their heart in this fourth quarter and half of that third quarter, and they're just coming up short. And they just it's 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 a it's a really big blow to their confidence. But let's not forget though, both teams showed up today and they both worked their butt off and they really tried hard. And now we have another timeout. 21 seconds left. 58 to 45. We'll 
Lady Lynx will move to four and two and two and one in the conference after tonight's win. This will be their second winning streak they will be on. So great spirits right now. Way to go home, leave this building with a W and hope the same for their fellow men links. And that was a fantastic three, but a little too, little too late. Oh, oh, this is crazy. Oh, five points score in a matter of seconds. It's, and that's for a minute there. That got that was scary. That was scary. Let's see if they if she. Ooh, ooh. And that is. GG, good, great game from the Pirates in that fourth quarter, in that third quarter. They really fought with everything they had, and they cut the deficit to 10 points. Way to go. So, we will be right back for the 730 men's game. This is Corinthian Neighbors. This is LBTV Spectrum 99, and this is Lynx Arena. Thank you very much.